welcome to this channel in this video we'll try and understand uh, what is what are the x-rays what is the x-ray machine and we how we conduct the radiograph and how we use the x-ray machine to conduct the radiograph so in this video we are going to talk about the radiography basically so without further ado let's dive into deep you can see over here there is a patient there is a patient and this hole is the x-ray machine and with this help of we can diagnose the animal whatever the cause whatever the unknown cause there is we can diagnose the animal with the help of the x-ray machine you can see the x-ray machine let's discuss about its various parts here you will see that this is the x-ray tube x-ray x-ray window and x-ray tube window and this is the x-ray tube which is consists of two parts anode and cathode anode is the positive consists of positive charges while the cathode consists of the negative charges it means that the cathode is having the electricity the cathode receives the electricity and from there the charges are moved toward the anode side which is having the positive charges right the cathode consists of the filament while the anode consists of the target both are both are made up of the tungsten and as we know that the tungsten's uh, atomic number is almost 74 and its uh, melting point is 3375 so it is much more than you can imagine so therefore the x-rays uh, which affect the cassette which affect the x-ray film they cannot affect anything on the cathode side as well as on the anode side because they are made up of the tungsten moving forward you will over you will see over here this is the x-ray tube stand this hole is the x-ray machine and this one side is x-ray tube x-ray machine stand right x-ray machine stand and this one is the trolley which is bearing the control panel in it and these are the wheels and you will find here somewhere the exposure button with the help of the exposure button you are ordering the uh, you are ordering the x-ray tube to flash the x-rays on the target right on the target where the animal uh, you know is uh, laying down and inside that animal uh, after that animal we are going to put the cassette and in the cassette the x-ray film will be available and in that we are going to put the markers and date and with the help of that we are going to know when the when we take the x-ray and what was the date and what was the problem as well so this is all about this is the intro of the x-ray machine let's move forward right now this is a control panel as we have already discussed its name you will see this is the trolley which is and this is the control panel which is placed in the trolley and from here you are going to adjust your timing right you will adjust your timing almost uh, most commonly 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 uh, that is the time which is more suitable for uh, for for the normal animals whose diagnosis is under under your supervision so that is the normal but you can increase that but it also depends upon the uh, x-ray machine what which type of x-ray machine you are using right on the other hand you are going to uh, you are going to adjust the uh, uh, the electric current in shape of the kv and the ma milliampere and kilovolt you're going to adjust that how much amount of you are you wanted to adjust the electric current how much amount you are you wanted to adjust so with every patient you are going to adjust this because every patient require another therapy another position and with that you have to select what suits better for your animal moving forward you will see over here an animal is laying down on uh, on the other hand uh, you will put the cassette over here in cassette uh, right that is the normal shape the cassette is a rectangular box which consists of two sides the smooth side and the another side which is a little bit rough that side is a little bit rough because that is made up of the lead side the the back side is made up of the lead side the back side of the cassette 
the back side of the casing is made of the lead side while the front side is made of the aluminium right and therefore it is somewhat smooth but the back side also consists of the hooks or we can say that the clips hooks h hooks and the clips so therefore it is somewhat rough and it does not uh, let the x-rays to pass from it and therefore the x-rays are not passed from it the uh, uh, but only the aluminium can pass the x-rays uh, from the x-ray tube coming from the x-ray tube and the x-ray uh, the cassette consists of uh, if you open the cassette you will find the intensifying screen in it which is almost a white in color right intensifying screen in it let's move forward hope you understand this the picture is almost uh, zoomed in this you will see an animal and over here the cassette is not placed still right now but hope you are imagining right now that the cassette is placed right now and it is going to we are going to not put over here not above the animal but uh, the animal where the animal is laying down just inside that right inside that we are going to pour we are going to put our our key seed and in the cassette our x-ray film will be available and the markers and date we will put over that and this all procedure you know there is there are the two procedure unloading and before the unloading there is a loading right in loading what happens we are going to put the x-ray film in the cassette in the cassette this whole process occur in the dark room the dark room is the safe place uh, in uh, in the radiograph where the radiography is hap happens uh, so there is available a room which is known as the dark room in dark room there are two regions the dry the dry region and the wet region in the wet region the unloading occurs but in the dry region the loading occurs hope you understand this point now moving forward and talk about the cassette right so this is the cassette right this is the cassette and i have put down its numbers so today was the date of 17 and 9 and 21 so we are going to put because we captured the x-ray today so we uh, put today's date and if you are uh, you know whatever the date is there you are going to put that date along with this we will put the marker for example if you are going to just uh, capture uh, the radiography if you if you wanted to take the radiography of the hand so which side of that whether it is the right side or the left side so with that you are going to put the uh, that is that is far apart but i hope you understand it that is you are going to just put uh, that is the right side or the left side or the right side right and this this hole is made of the lead and this helps you because if you want the the x-rays to pour on on one side of the x-ray film then you will put uh, this lead sheet on the other side right now what happens this whole side the x-ray film is con the the cassette is available on the whole side if i does not put over here the lead if i does not put over here then if i you know expose the uh, x-rays from here then the uh, the x-rays are the radiography is going to be available on the whole so therefore to escape this we put the lead uh, to not uh, the x-rays uh, to expose the side because we wanted to take another side over here another side of animal whether it would be the right side if this is the left side then we want to take over here the right side the x-ray the right side so we are going to put the lead sheet because not to allow the x-rays to expose in the side let's move forward this is the clear picture you can see now let's move forward and talk about the dark room as we know that dark room is from the name you will know about it that is a dark room it does not mean that it does not have any light it have the light basically but it is fully covered there is no any windows uh, but yeah there is a door which you have to just uh, close it down when you are performing your uh, when you have to perform radiograph so you have to close it down in the dark room there are two regions number one is dry another is wet region right in the dry loading occurs loading occurs in the wet region uh, you know unloading occurs and there are two uh, segments 
uh, the fixers and the developers as well hope you understand this and in the dark room you will see this is the developer fixer you are going to pour your x-rays when you just conduct the x-rays you are going to put your radiography radiograph over here and then there and then you have to rinse it with water and your radiograph is ready and you just have to take the envelope and you have to put it over there and you have to you know hand over to the owner of an animal let's move forward yeah you will see over here these are the this is the x-ray film and this is the x-ray hanger with the help of x-ray hanger you are going to handle the x-ray film and you're going to pour in the fixer and the developer uh, these are the sides in the uh, in the dark room developer this hole is the x-ray film hanger now all i have whatever i have said over here this is whole written on a piece of paper or you can see that i have just jotted down some of the points if we read them so let's read them x-ray machine very important for having the radiography x-ray film box which consists of x-ray film then cassette then we would be having the data marker date and markers and dark room consists of drying region where loading of x-ray film in cassette occur in the dark room in the wet region and loading of x-ray from cassette after x-ray have passed from them is going to be happen and the wet region has two sides fixer side in the right side and developer side in the left side on the other hand if you talk about the x-ray machine then you will see an north side which is having the positive side cathode is having a negative side and cables as well and tungsten filaments and targets x-ray tube x-ray window x-ray tube stand x-ray machine stand exposure button control panel and trolley i hope that you understand we all talk about this and uh, uh you know previous we all uh, talk about these points and on the, on the other hand in one second the speed of one x-ray x-ray is one lake it is six thousand per miles per second what is the definition of a radiolucent uh, they are transparent to x-rays structure that are less dense and permit the x-ray beam to pass through them they give the black image for example the tissue soft tissues radio dense opacity to x-ray portion of the radio electromagnetic spectrum they give the white image for example the bone so this is all about uh, the x-ray and how to conduct the radiography hope you understand this still that thank you so much for watching this if you are new in the channel subscribe to my channel and thanks again for watching this